the organizers for taking this daring decision of conducting an international workshop on such a topic, navy topic. I think they are the first Ayurvedians across the globe to dare to have such thought process to conduct such a seminar. Hats off to you and your team, sir, for taking that uh, a great challenge. Yeah. Now, before I start my presentation, let me quickly tell you, because this is a very common uh, uh, thing I come across uh, whenever I present certain things pertaining to either IT or AI. Being an Ayurvedian, how come uh, uh, you enter that domain or you are uh, exploring that domain? Uh, in, in 2018, a team of uh, data scientists reached one hospital where I go for consultation. Of course, it is the NAB chapter in hospital where all the case sheets are being recorded on one HMS, hospital management software. So they want to explore, is there any relationship between the symptoms expressed by the patient, the diagnosis and the treatment, whatever we use. That was their thought process. They want to, in fact, uh, translate our conventional practice into data-driven uh, insights. <coughs> In that regard, they approached that hospital. Then I volunteered myself. So, I, I deal with metabolic conditions. I told, uh, yeah, you can take up diabetes mellitus as the disease of interest. You can explore. I can share all my patient data with you without disclosing their uh, uh, name and other identity. They agreed and they did some three, four months of uh, some homework. They told that uh, they got very good insights. So, very good insights. Why don't we conduct one small workshop where uh, we can present the same in front of others also. When they came to the slide and highlighted that to treat these many people, I have used around 70, 72 formulations to treat diabetes, to give that result. I was a bit surprised. How come I don't know 70, 72 medicines that I prescribe for my diabetic patients? I asked them, can you display all those uh, medicines, whatever you analyzed on the screen? When they showcased everybody's Everybody means Ayurvedic physicians who were there in that workshop, they started laughing. Why? For them, Nisha Malaki, N-I-S-H-A-M-A-L-A-K-I, one medicine. N-I-S-A hyphen Amalaki, second medicine. N-I-S-H-A-M-A-L-A-K-I, third medicine. N-I-S-A-A-M-L-A-K-I, Churan is fourth medicine. Varanadi Kashayam, Varanadi Kashaya. Like that, the list went to 72. In fact, I barely use 18 medicines or so. Then I realized, if a non-Ayurvedian wants to explore the data that we have generated, these are quite obvious mistakes they are going to commit. Of course, that is not a big mistake. Whenever they interact with any Ayurvedic physician, he can figure out the time that can be modified. But still, I thought, there should be a person who can understand their requirement and conduct some sort of studies using our generated data. So that was the high time I thought and took up uh, my journey into this uh, IT field. I started exploring data science. Then recently I completed my MS in uh, uh, data science. Of course, my dissertation topic was on uh, predicting diabetes based on lipid profile values. Right? Just by knowing the lipid profile values, we will be able to predict diabetes. Yeah, as a part of my journey at that time, the initial stage, uh, see, when you want to explore something, you need raw data. Unfortunately, in Ayurveda, the biggest challenge is to get readable data by the machines. I started translating. So, I made up my mind to explore this using Dravaguna. I started my journey using, uh, like creating Dravaguna data set. Of course, took help of some of uh, my students at that time. They helped me to figure out Rasaguna Virupaka, 
for around 200 plus drugs. Then what I did was, I developed an org org uh, algorithm which will predict the dosha for a given substance. Say for example, if I ask you, what is doshic effect of shali? You will tell. Draksha, you will tell. Haritaki, you will tell. If I ask the doshic effect of pizza, be difficult, right? Yeah, maybe you may think, yeah, it is difficult to digest, then it is having guru guna and hence kapha ruddhikara. Is it just the guna that have its influence on the deciding the prakriti? No, we have, a, we have witnessed a big uh, debate in textbooks in those days between uh, shishas and guru, which attribute is more important in deciding the doshic effect, right? So, I developed that, predicted, uh, built up a model which will predict the dosha. If you give any <coughs> substance with the known rasaguna viravipaka, whatever, the more you give, the better dosha prediction will happen. So that model I published on a platform called Kaggle. Like as we have PubMed, Scopus kind of thing. There in IT professionals, whenever you create something new, they publish in Kaggle for platform. I published that in Kaggle platform and that link I shared across my WhatsApp groups, asking people to come and see that. After many months, I hardly saw any downloads or likes happened over there. Why? The people who have the access to Kaggle, they don't know what I'm talking about. Dosha, Rasa, Guna, Virayupaka, they are not interested in that because they are all from IT background. And the people who knows this, they don't know what is this code, what is this algorithm, what is this precision, accuracy, random forest kind of thing. And hence I was left nowhere. Right? Then I thought, yeah, let me understand the end user's requirement and act accordingly. So what I did, I translated the whole of that and I launched an app called eDravya. That's how I started my journey in developing the apps. So eDravya, I will show a case during my presentation. Yeah, that's the part. Now let me uh, start focusing on the today's title, Role of Artificial Intelligence in Advancing Ayurvedic Education, Clinical Practice and Research. Before coming over here, I was in a different illusion. But after witnessing some of the poster presentation, paper presentation, online paper presentation, I was really stunned. The younger generation, you started exploring AI and other IT driven uh, things beyond my expectation. I thought uh, to visualize that thing, at least we need three to four years. But your pace is at par with AI pace, the way in which Revolutions are happening in AI. The same kind of pace you are in. And hence, I am really very eager to see what is going to happen after five years from now. People with AI expertise, with the profound knowledge of Ayurveda, when they reach fields, you create a totally a different atmosphere. I am pretty sure on that. And of course, Again, for that I need to thank organizers for giving you such platform to think and start developing such ideas. Yeah, in Panchakarma, I never thought of that till now. Yeah, in Rashastra, Bishak Sara, yesterday one of the paper presentation I witnessed over here. Right? So all this kind of stuff are really very good thought process. But I don't want all those things to remain as hypothesis, it's just a claim. Those things need to get translated and for that today I'm going to show you some of the use cases. I'm not here to talk any hypothetical things. Of course, there will be some hypothetical things, but the possibilities I'm going to show you in my presentation because I strongly believe in doing rather than claiming, right? So with this brief introduction, let me start my presentation on this topic. Uh, let me start with a disclaimer. AI is not 
going to replace you nor you should depend on ai it can only assist you that is the reason their role need to be taken for assistance they can be your supporting hand <coughs> not whole of your hand with that disclaimer let me start today's presentation yeah this ai is a rapid evolving domain in it industry it has given its impact in all the domain it can be e-commerce entertainment your google maps all those things are driven by ai now however it has also touched healthcare many years back thanks to chat gpt which was able to reach everyone's hand in past few years before to that also the those things were in place but not to that extent and hence it has also touched healthcare domain which will help not only for better outcome of uh, patient care but also optimize operational efficacy like how much of medicines are left over for that a software is sufficient but what is the role of ai yeah this one i want to make clear for many youngsters don't get confused with information technology tools and artificial intelligence tools say for example if i open my mobile open the camera and focus on the carpet and ask what is this color if the answer is red then simple it is not ai ai don't need that where ai is required when the same system starts thinking like humans then that becomes ai i i want you to have a clear cut difference between information technology and artificial intelligence many a times they are overlapping but make sure that what are you focusing what is your objective is it information technology driven data or is it ai assisted data insights right be clear now when it comes for the stocks in pharmacy these many medicines are left out and you need to order this much of extra medicine that's fine that's technology not ai now where ai pitches it will take all the other factors like the patient flow is this much last year at this point of time these many patients were there and among them these many diseases patients were admitted for them these many treatments were conducted for those treatments these many medicines were used and hence you need extra stuff of these goods or formulations this is what ai is about or simply seeing the medicines available in the stores and giving order for that that is just a software but analyzing based on different components and giving you insights that's what ai is about so be very clear about technology driven and ai driven insights right so what how this ai works especially when it comes for uh, healthcare these are the three areas where we are using uh, ai the components of ai i thought this is something new which i'll be sharing again as i told you earlier i was very much impressed when a first year uh, studying girl started talking about these terms a fourth year student who was presenting a paper used keywords like future engineering modeling tuning right i was really impressed the way how you started adapting to that new atmosphere new coins new terms right so quickly we will see what exactly they are and how they will have their impact on healthcare how they can be used in ayurveda that is going to be my 15 to 20% of presentation the next 70% of the presentation will be on the apps which i have developed or maybe on the areas which i am working on right this is how the whole of the presentation goes yeah first let's start with my favorite nlp natural language processing as the word itself indicates it is nothing but understanding your spoken language or written language by the system 
translating into its working algorithm, searching the information, preparing the information, and presenting the information in which you can understand the way how you have given the input. That's the meaning of natural language processing. The word itself indicates natural. The way how you talk, language, the language what we use. Processing, it takes input, process with all the stuff and give the output. How are they helpful in typical healthcare industry? Yes, NLP tools automate the documentation process in EHR, electronic health records. Now it's very easy for me to identify how many cases of diabetes I have treated in last one month by using simple terms increased blood sugar or diagnosis madhumeha or DMT2, type 2, those kind of stuff. I can easily get the insights thanks to NLP, natural language processing. It will help to understand what are the keywords I have used on which it will start working on the data. Extract key information from the physician notes, laboratory reports and patient history. Now what I do, I take up my patient records I update it on uh, this NLP tool. Instead of going through each and every details, I will ask this NLP, give me the insights of this report. Because I don't know whether you are aware of such reports or not. A simple T3, T4, TSH value will be brought to my clinic by, by a patient with two pages of all bullshits. Some advertisements at the down, their lab name at the top, TS, T3, T4, TSH in two different pages in a very nominal uh, highlighted font and style. I don't want to waste my time to go through that. Lipid profile, renal function test, okay, liver function test, urine routine, CBC, just these five which includes around 50 plus parameters, they will be carrying 20-25 pages of report. Now what I do? As soon as they send their soft copy, I will upload on my NLP model and I will ask my AI tool to give me the insights. Without going through any of that, it will tell this is increase, this is decrease, this is decrease, this is, that's what. If I'm very eager, then I will ask what is blood sugar value, then it will give the response. That's it. I don't waste my time in going through those documents. That can be done by you at this point of time also. Right? So, it will minimize physician time for such unnecessary exploration, right? Reduce administrative burden on healthcare provider. The simple example, the stock of say, Murchita Thaila. How many bottles of Murchita Thaila you need? If you have the software in place, if you get the insights, feed it to AI, it will give the insights how many more bottles of Murchita Thaila is needed for next three months, so that you can plan for the production or procurement. Ensures critical information accurately captured and easily accessible. That's what the example of lab report I gave. Like the same with the follow-ups, right? For many of the patients, because of their uh, alarming blood sugar values, I might have asked them to come for follow-up in next 15 days or so. They might have forgotten it. It will be flagged on my screen, and I will ask my receptionist to call back that patient and ensure for follow-up consultation. So all these kind of things that are helpful for clinical documentation can be taken use of this NLP. Now, where exactly in Ayurveda we can use it? Yes, digitalization of Ayurveda. Yesterday, Dr. Madhu sir was here, who is doing a tremendous work on translating the classical text into digital forms. Of course, when I started my journey, I was not aware of that. E Samita, I know published by NIC, right? So, translation of the Samhita, so that the better searching, extraction of the information happens, that can be used. Involves extracting information of the herbal formulation, treatment protocols and disease management strategy. Yes, that can happen. Simply, after loading Charka Samhita for that NLP, if I ask, what are the treatment protocols for Gurudrasi? or Sandhigata Vata, as explained by Acharya Vagbata, or maybe Bhav Prakasha, it will give the, all the insights. But again, you should take all those things with caution, as in yesterday's presentation, that was rightly highlighted by Sampatram sir. 
right? Even I have come across lot of such flaws. If you ask how many chapters are there in Sutra Sthana, it may or may not give you the proper response, right? So the foundational knowledge is very important to discriminate whether the opted information is right or wrong. So focus more when you are studying, right? So that's the beauty of uh, uh, translating that. So whenever you see such plus mark, it clearly indicates that I did some work in that area. And this QR code is one example. Two weeks back, of course, uh, Raghuram Bhatt sir was there to launch this e-book. This is the QR code of Charaka Samhita in PDF format. Of course, freely available. You just need to scan that, fill the PDF with your name, college. You will get a link and user manual. Download that. Okay, I will be showcasing such QR codes. Don't do any such thing. Just capture that. That's it. Or else, uh, the organizers will share all my slides to you. You can you can do that bit later. Now try to understand what is the best part of uh, such application. This Charaka Samhita, of course, uh, the name given was uh, Charaka Shrotavalli Mahaprana Manjari. My principal, Dr. Kiran Gauda sir, once he told me that many a times when my student recites shloka, he will be not stressing upon Mahapranas. Right? Can we come out with the Charaka Samhita rewritten where we can highlight Mahapranas? That was his requirement. Of course, I took up the challenge, worked for a few months, used Python programming language and extracted the data. Of course, for complex Mahapranas, like for example in Swastya, Mahapranas are embedded in the letter Thya. So, that Python programming language was unable to identify such Mahapranas for that manually, I have to see line by line. So it took few months. Finally, last to last week, Raghuram Bhatt sir was at our uh, college. He launched that e Samhita. Now, of course, Samhita is Samhita. What's special in that? There are three specialities in this. As I somehow linked with IT, I want to give my best to Ayurveda fraternity. Number one. Right from the table, you can reach out the chapter just clicking on the name of the chapter or sthana without scrolling 840 pages. There are 840 pages covering 120 chapters of all chapters of Charaka Samhita. Okay, for example, if you want to explore 10th chapter of Siddhisthana, you have to come all the way down. You will be wasting your time. Instead, go to table of content, scroll down 2 to 3 pages, click there, you will be taken to 10th chapter of Siddhisthana. That's it. That's the one. Second one, you come across the term mana and you are keen to know how many such manas are present in across Charaka Samhita, especially for PG scholars. Just copy, paste, copy that, control F, paste, keep clicking, you will get all the references. A simple PDF tool. Not much to be appreciated. The thing which I want to highlight here is bookmarks on the right or left side whatever the pdf tool you use that depends on the version also matters there will be ribbon like structure which is called bookmark just click on that bookmark you will get all the stana names in greater symbol click on that greater symbol you will get downward arrow the chapters in that stana will be there so if you are in seventh chapter of Vimanasthana and if you felt that the similar thing I understood in 26th chapter of Sutrasthana without scrolling up hundreds of pages just click on that click on the down arrow search that chapter over there click it you will be taken to that chapter as simple as that that's the beauty of using such tools in our domain involves extracting information of the herbal formation this we discussed enables practitioner to combine traditional Ayurvedic wisdom with scientific research yeah that's the another thing i am on the in the process of uh, integrating such things on the tool uh, which takes few weeks from now to launch yeah this is another important interesting area how best we can 
utilize computer vision. Computer vision is something to do with the image processing. Already that is in place. Again, I saw the same thing in the posters yesterday. Identification of the breast cancer, skin cancer. Okay, all those things. Just take a pick, you are through. Take a pick of uh, eyes, even the hypertension values can be generated. That's the way where AI in healthcare is. Where are we? A big question mark, a long way to go there. So this can be done for all those things with the good precision rate. Yesterday I saw the girl presenting with 95% of efficacy in diagnosing breast cancer. The time between her presentation and this moment, it might have increased by 0.25% more. That is the way how the tuning, refinement is happening in AI segment. Yes, in Ayurveda, identification of the medicine plant, you don't need big AI tools for that. Just open your Google lens. Everyone have that in Google folder. Click on any of the drug, you will get all the information. But again, take with pinch of salt. Cross check with your Dravaguna teacher. You may not always rely on that. But at least to start with, there is something. And we are planning to come out with a tool <coughs> which will tell when Rukshana Karma to be stopped. Say for example, in a obese patient or maybe Stula Mehi patient, you will be making him to go for Udvartana. Okay, so when to stop Udvartana, that is a big question. Typically, we ask them to go for 5 days, 7 days, followed by some other procedures, then Virechana, blah, 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 goes on. But what if the person is already having Rukshat on higher side? What if he is influenced with Vatik Dosha? Instead of 5 days, on third day itself, he may come across some rashes or, or too much of dryness across the body. How best it can be identified? Again, this is a, one of the thought process of my teacher. Now we are going to come out with the uh, AI tool. Take a pick of the powder, not the skin. Of course, skin, that's, the, that's the another part. Take the pick of the powder. This powder will tell you how much of clayder or snehamsha have been extracted from the skin. We are developing that. Luckily, at least this I could not see in any of the poster presentation. I am happy that I am giving you a, it, one extra thought. Okay, of course, this is not just a thought. The things are in place. We are working. We are collecting various samples on the same. Right? Of course, we need hundreds of data. It can't go with one single patient. Hundreds of data we need to take. We need to train, retune. Of course, the world future engineering. All this comes under that heading. Right? Uh, technology ensures the authenticity and the quality of the raw materials. Yes, this I have seen one of the presenter, Bishad Sara, who is that person presented. He was rightly highlighting about that. Yep, that's the good approach. That can be used like your TLC, HPLC, all those kind of things. It can be in your pocket. Just click on the drug, it will analyze and give you the output. Yep, this picture. Again, computer vision, where else in Ayurveda, in diagnostic approach, definitely that is about the treatment, assessment kind of thing. This is about the diagnostic. That is my picture. Two weeks back, when I was suffering from some respiratory infection, I have taken that uh, pic. Instead of any other person's picture, I thought of placing my pic. So this is AMA score generator. Of course, we have uh, Ram Prasasar who has done his excellent uh, understanding of tongue diagnosis. One small component of that is uh, how best you assess AMA by inspecting tongue. Very simple thing, right? It, it is taught at your uh, Kriya or maybe in uh, Rog Nidana classes itself. Just ask the patient to stretch the tongue, see the tongue. If it is coated, then AMA present. As simple as that. The question is how much AMA is present? I will give some Deepana Pachana drugs. How much armor was earlier and now how much armor was left over or whether it got nullified completely by these drugs. Is there any quantifying measure? No. Again, it depends either on you or your assisting doctor's ability to assess. What we thought is why don't we translate this into number? Right? Because quantification matters a lot. So we developed this. Of course, it is in a 
uh, testing mode. It is there on my laptop as well as on mobile. Whoever are interested, just come in front of me, stretch your tongue, I will take your pick. In next two minutes, your AMA score will be generated. As simple as that. Right? So, thanks to computer vision, the application of AI. Uh, this, of course, I have, I am involved in this. I am the Ayurvedic mind in this. Uh, that person is from IIT Chennai. I am seeking his help. He is developing this AI tool. Uh, my knowledge in AI is restricted only to NLP. Computer vision, of course, you need a lot of programming capability to understand and execute. And your system should also cooperate with that. Right? So, yeah, here I think it is visible for all of you. You can see the number 46 over there. We have given three colors, green, orange and red. You can anticipate what that color means. Give medicine, keep checking on everyday basis. When it hits green or less than 25, you can stop Deepana Pachana. You can also argue with me. We don't need, sir. Just our eyes are sufficient to discriminate. Yes, you are most welcome. Yeah, this is another area, machine learning, predictive analytics. What exactly is this? It is the prediction. This is for this, then what will be for that? This kind of question that will be answered by using predictive analysis in healthcare. Like cancer prediction. Okay, of course, we use computer vision for analyzing the lesions or the images. Whereas, by using this machine learning algorithms, you will get the number, the chances. Okay? So, that's about predictive modeling, where we use machine learning algorithms. Where exactly in Ayurveda, that Doshi prediction, which I already discussed with you in the beginning of the presentation. It can be applied for various Ayurvedic principles, patient response to various treatment based on their prakriti, vikriti and other factors. So, you know, dosham, dosham, balam, kalam, satam, satam, anilam, vayani. These are all the factors a simple physician always has to struggle with his minimal GB whenever he come across a patient. Of course, much of his GB will be utilized by his wife, by his kids, by his other colleagues. Too many other thought process will be happening over there and he may not be able to focus much on his patient. So, in that case, yes, we can take the help of this machine learning algorithms. Just input whatever things you want. It will give the prediction. That goes with a concept called CDSS, of course. This also I thought very new for the gathering, but I heard at least for the four times from yesterday till now, CDSS. Okay, clinical decision support system. Where it goes with uh, zero one algorithm. I will give one example, how it goes in medical field. A patient comes to you with a history of fever. Now, in how many diseases there will be fever? 100? I will show you my app. You will be stunned to know in how many cases, how many conditions there will be Jora. It will go beyond your prediction. I will show you with references. Wait for that movement. Uh, so, you may think of some hundreds of diseases when the patient comes to you with Jora. Now, the next question. Do we, you have burning maturation? Then, yes, out of 100, 50 ruled out, no, another 50. Yes, fever associated with burning maturation. There are 50 conditions from 100 left out. One more question. Do you have chills? Yes, most of the things get eliminated. This is called clinical decision support system. You keep adding the symptom and it keeps excluding the Conditions. There is one app called ADA ADA, developed by British physicians. In Europe, availing uh, medical facility is not as cheap or as easy like in India. However, they may call themselves as developed country. My sister struggles for the simple influenza or maybe typhoid fever. She have to wait for days together to get consultation from GP. Whereas in India, whatever investigation you want by throwing money, whosoever specialist you want, you can go and get consulted. That's not the case in UK. 
and of course us right so for that sake they have developed that ada where it will ask around 30 45 questions depending on the response whatever you and finally it will come to conclusion it will help you to assist the diagnosis and it will tell at the end meet your gp with this report at least you will come to know are you suffering with cancerous like condition or a simple fever like condition right so that's a typical example of uh, cdss clinical decision support system the same can be utilized over here for a say for example a person who is stooler having these symptoms what kind of disease he is prone for a person who is krisha or maybe the person who is vata more vata influenced what are the condition he is more prone for with the exhibiting symptoms all those things can be analyzed using these predictive models and by that it will help you to plan the treatment accordingly use these drugs and of course if your patient is having pitta dominant prakriti then use ushnadravyas carefully all such insights will be given by that this is another important domain variables right from 2015 i was into this hypothesis hypothesizing a lot of things like variable spect where there will be sensors at the corner of the glass a person with pitta prakriti when his eyes are redden signals are sent to his mobile as notification now it's the high time to drink water or have cucumber right yeah those kind of insights all kind of variables of course i was in touch with uh, one such variable guy who designed uh, sweat sensors of course they designed it for uh, uh, csk fans some sensors in their t-shirt yellow t-shirt the more they cheer there will be stress sensors released along with their sweat there will be a point and you can read him those point means the hardcore fan will get more rewards as he cheers for the team whenever there is a six or a wicket depending on batting or bowling the sweat will be generated along with that cortisol whether that cortisol will be sensitized by the t-shirt what he is wearing and the signals are sent to the main system reward programs based on your cheers to the team all those things are there when they can do for such fancy purpose why don't we use for our effective care yes that can also be done so in ayurveda what we can do yeah the example what i gave along with the some other uh, parameters like uh, assessing the digestion sleep quality physical activities with respect to prakriti vikruti all those kind of things can be imparted by using such variables and accordingly you can give do's and don'ts suggestions yeah this is what i'm more interested to share with this gathering what and all kind of works i have done when i can do you can do much 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 more better right because eng minds eng thoughts resources at your fingertips right yeah so this is another qr code uh just take a pic of this it will take you to my website atroiotech.com where i have launched my ai stuffs as well as uh, it tools okay quickly let me take you through the three apps which will help you for your learning as well as for better understanding or application of ayurveda um, i will minimize this i will go here yeah this is my website you can click on this idravya let me start with idravya now what is this idravya where you can understand the classical ayurvedic drugs there are about 300 compiled drugs of course for all this you need to first uh, sign in sign up then sign in you will get after sign up you will get a password to your email id just place that password over here you can sign in you will have two buttons over here one is search drugs by their sanskrit name latin name or by synonyms i strongly suggest not to go with synonyms unless otherwise required or search drugs by criteria i will showcase first search drugs by their name so which drug you are interested in exploring randomly pick any drug which drug you want 
but I'm be loud. Haritaki, fine. Let me type Haritaki. So the condition is just type three letters and search for that in drop down box. Click over here, H A R R I T A K I. Yeah, I got it. Just select that from the drop down box because this model have been trained on limited data set. It is not AI. It is IT. Now click on the submit. You will be taken to other page. If you click on this drop down box, you will get Latin name, Guna Rasa Vira Vipaka, Dosha Gnata and actions of this Haridaki. Right? At your fingertips. Now, what is the beauty of this? Click on this pharmacognosy, you will get all the insights of this plant, the chemical constituents. All those things you can get, you can simply copy and paste wherever you need. Right? That's the uh, beauty of this app. Or else, again, you have to go to Google and search all those things. And these are all taken from CPKRIS, Indian Medicinal Plants textbook. Now, click on the PubMed link. You will be taken to the PubMed page where you will see all the research papers published on Haritaki. Okay. What happened? It is taking some time to load. Meanwhile, I will show you the other one. Yeah, impact link, of course, it will be very useful for Dravaguna faculties where you can study, understand the various other molecules pertaining to the drug. Site can't be reached. I don't know what kind of glitch is happening today. Uh, this link will take you to FRLST website where you can see the, again, there is some issue. I don't know, is it with the internet, not secure, I don't know. PubMed. I think, yeah, I think it's slowly getting loaded. So you can access all these sites just by simply clicking on that. Yeah. Now, the best part of this is, say for example, again, if you want to go back and click on this home, if I ask you, however, I think many of you already got exposure to Dravaguna. If I ask you, can you list out the drugs that are having Madhur Rasa? Yes, you can tell me, right? How much? 5, 10, 15? Yeah, even 20, 25 also. What if I ask you, get me the drugs that are having Madhur Rasa at the same time, it, there need to be Katu Vipaka. Tricky, right? Ha, you may take some time. What if I ask you, Madhur Rasa, Katu Vipaka, Ushna Virya. How much time you need to compile the drugs with these qualities? Thanks to Idravya, it can happen in seconds. Go to this button, click on this. Now which would I want to explore? Which one? Okay, first let me show you how to access single property. I have taken Lagoguna. Click on submit. Yeah, there are 200 drugs in the data set which are having Lagoguna. Click on this, you will get all the information. Again, read the same thing, whatever I told. Now, drugs with Lagoguna. Okay. Any other guna you want to try along with Lakku? Any other guna? Ruksha? Yeah, fine. Now don't tell me Guru Guna. You will never have the drug with both qualities. Okay. Which rasa? Madhur rasa? Fine. Virya? Shita? Fine. Vipaka? Let's try. Else it will tell there are no drugs with that. Kato or Madura? Madura. Okay. Of course, you can also use uh, Doshagnata as well as Actions also. Click on Submit. With all these criteria, there are still 11 drugs left. Lago and Rukshakuna, Madurasa, Shita Virya, Madura Vipaka. These are all the drugs that possess these qualities. 
And if I give you that assignment, how much time you need to refer book and get back to me? One day? One week? Huh. Okay, sir, we don't take such assignments. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the beauty of uh, this Yidra verb. Again, you can explore based on their uh, karma kata also. Say, for example, there is a patient of Madhumeha, or say, let me take the Madhumeha over here. Sorry, Madhumeha. Okay, for this Madhumeha patient, you want to give Madhurasa Aharas, Madhurasa Dravyas, because you think Pitta and Vatas are aggravated more then kapha right there are chances along with that again you want to go with madhur vipaka also select this go for submit and get around how much 14 drugs which are having anti-diabetic property with uh, madhurasa and madhur vipaka all these kind of fascinating things you can see by assessing analyzing that's about e-dravya. The next app which I have developed is called uh, e-roga. And again, as yesterday's speaker was highlighting about Namaste portal, the data have been taken from a Namaste portal and modified as per my requirement. Okay, so again, so here, the same process, first sign in, sign up and then followed by sign in. You can understand the clinical condition of any uh, disease, Say for example, which disease you want to explore? Which disease? Pandu. P A N D. Yeah, Pandu Arista, Pandu Pururuga, Pururupa, Pandu Roga. Okay, I will go with Pandu Roga. Click. There are 11 clinical conditions in Ayurveda where the word Pandu is used in diagnosis. It can go with Pandu Roga as such. Panduraga Pururupa, Vataja, <coughs> Pittaja, Kafada, Murudbakshana Janya, okay, Asadya Pandu, Pandu Arishta, all those things. Say for example, if you click on this, these are all the symptoms pertaining to Pandu Pururupa, Sanskrit term with their translated English term and this is not translation made by me but by Namaste portal. I want to play safe. Right? So you can get that along with that you will also get the reference. It is just not like that presented over here. Shushuta Sutra Sthana 13th chapter 11th shloka, you will get all these references. Right? So that's how you can explore the symptoms, uh, clinical condition. Now exploring the symptoms. Say for example, you have a case. Who is having? Shall I take Joranov? Yep. Again, three letters as usual. Okay, before I submit, Tell me how many conditions you can anticipate with the Jora in Ayurveda. In how many conditions Jora is seen? One, at least Jora is a Jora disease. Fine. Then apart from that. Any wild guesses? Of course, your teacher will not punish you. Don't worry. How many? 15? 20? More than that? 25? 25? Let's see what this app tells on this. What I will do, I will select Jora. I will come down and I submit for your surprising. There are 235 conditions where Jora is seen either as Pururupa or as Rupa or as Arishta or as Upadrava. Right from Vyanavata Kopa. Again, click on this drop down box, you will get all the symptoms. Okay, you can scroll it down and see all the conditions with Jora over there. Right? So, that's the another use case of this app. Now, in clinical practice, how best we, we can use this? Say for example, I am having a patient of Jora. I will select Jora. I will click on this plus mark. This Jora patient is also having Kasa. Okay, I will select Kasa and he is also having, yeah, thank you. He 
He is also having, yeah, Jora Kasa, then what else? Chardi? Yeah, C H A R D. Yeah, Chardi. Then anything else you want to place? If it is that, it will come. Shwasa? Quite common, right? Yes. One more? Which one? Which one? Think of any disease in your mind with these conditions and tell. Angamarda? Yeah. Okay, Angamarda Prabala is there. Okay, fine. I, I am pretty sure there will be no such combination with that. But still, I want you to see how the output will be. If you click on submit, 235 condition of Jora, 114 of Kasa, 162 of Chardi. Again, click on this each drop down. You will get the list of all the diseases. Combination of Jora and Kasa, 40. Combination of Jora and Chardi, 68 disease. Combination of Kasa and Chardi, 50. You can see the dual combination. Triple combination, Kasa, Shwas, okay, triple combination down. Yeah, Jora Kasa Chardi, 23 conditions. If I click on this, you will get all the disease where you have Jora Kasa Chardi as explained in classical textbooks of Ayurveda. Right? Again, click on that. Say, for example, Udavartha is one such condition. These are all the reference with total symptoms of 46. Right? Uh, maximum, yeah, I have 12 cases where there can be Jora, Kasa, Shwasa and Chardi. If I click on that, I will get all these conditions. Use your sense, take a call. This is how this app can be used. The another best part is, of course, it is in testing stage. Some of the shlokas pertain to this Lakshana. That's why I kept it as uh, in a testing stage. Okay, which disease shloka you want to understand? Any random disease name you can take. Which disease? Pandu? Okay, let me show you the same Pandu which we started. Okay, Pandu Raga, click submit. Yeah, so let me click on Purupa of Pandu. As per Ashtanga, Sutrasthana, here comes the Shloka. Okay, again, be careful. There are chances of mistakes over here. Kafaja Pandu, with respect to various classical references. Madhav Nidana, yeah. Shushita Uttara Tantra, yes. Okay. So like that, you can keep exploring. And one important thing I suggest for everyone sitting in over here is using, one second, let me showcase that, National Ayurveda Modality Code Generator. This is high time, guys. We have to use this. As there is standardization of disease classification or nomenclature of disease through ICD in contemporary science, we should also adhere to such standardization. For that, again, this is given by Namaste portal. I'm just taking their data, refining as per my software requirement. So here again, type whatever the disease you want. Say for example, uh, Jwara, some specific Jwara, Jwara affecting Datu, Datu Gata Jwara. Click on that. It will generate a code for you. Mamsa Datukata Jora, click on that. The code is EC-3.11.3. So PG scholars, please do use that code in your disease. Like wherever, whatever the disease you take now, please start using this NAM code generator. You can also use the Excel sheet that they have given, but this is an easy one to explore the same. This is about Eroga. We can talk hours together on this. Like the same with each sir. This is a medicine selector. I'll just showcase you. A lot of things are there again in this. Say for example, you are having the same patient of Jwara. 
who is also having, uh, I will click plus. Shwasa. The best part of Ayurveda is that there are many medicines with multiple formulations. Uh, Falashrutis. Right? We can take the help of that and use the same in our clinical practice. My patient is having these three conditions. What I will do? I will come down and I will click on submit. So it will tell that there are 185 medicines for Jwara compiled over here. If you click, you will get all the medicines including Ekamulika Dravyas. 160 for Shwasa, 182 for Kasa, 69 for Shwasa plus uh, Jwara, Kasa and Jwara 80, Shwasa Kasa 133, 59 for all combination of these three. Say for example, Yela Di Gutika, if you click on that, you will come to know the indication of all this in that along with that reference dosage as well as Anupana and other Falashrutis. Right? So you can play around. I have given many filters. Treat Kasa by selecting the Falashruti as described by Sahasra Yoga. As described in Sahasra Yoga. Select that. My patient wants only Kashayams for Kasa. There is option. You can play around with all those stuffs with the help of this uh, E-Roga, E-Chikisa, E-Dravya kind of thing. Again, going back to presentation, uh, these are all the IT tools which I have used. Now, why this thing to be needed? Yeah, the other day I was discussing the same. My daughter, who is, at that time she was in six standard, one year back. When I asked her, I can help you out using uh, some uh, AI tools. She told, no, I'm already using AI. I was surprised. I want to make sure that whether she is using the right one or not. She showed me an app which she installed in her mobile almost six months back. That one called as ZU AI. This is exclusively designed for kids' education. Give your input as the standard in which you are studying. First standard to 12th standard. Syllabus, state, CBSC, NCRT, those kind of things you select. Subjects, whatever you want, you take, play around. Right? So, when my daughter at that stage can use AI, why not my own students? Keeping that in view, I started developing some AI tools for our people. Of course, there are various online courses, e-learning platform and other things. Again, take a pick of this. I will tell you when to operate. Again, take the same pick. This, this pick QR code. Later, scan it and use it. Uh, I started developing some uh, AI tools in education. How best we can use? We can uh, design virtual classes, learning environment, right? We can create simulations. We can create VR DG garden. Many of you have visited Dravaguda garden. What if I ask you, have you seen a, some rare plant which is only grown in Himalayas? And the student who is learning in Himachal Pradesh, if you ask him about coconut tree, he can only imagine that, right? For that, if there is a simulation of that thing, like for example, you will be wearing a VR lens and you will be moving in the Dravagoda garden. You will see all varieties of Haritaki plant in different seasons labeled over there. Haritaki plant in Grishma Rutu, Haritaki plant in Varsha Rutu. Haritaki when it is in herb, sharp and tree. Different varieties of Haridra, Tulsi, all at one place with the labeling. How beautiful it will be, right? You will never forget that. You can touch them virtually. You can feel them. Right? So, that can be done by using AI through this virtual labs. So that is again hypothetical, not yet achieved, but we are not very uh, long way to reach that. In few years, we can definitely achieve it. In fact, I have been called by NCISM to have a meeting exclusion on this project. Um, yep. So, AI for students. These are some of the things which I have developed for AI for students. I will take you through these AIs. Uh, yeah.
these are the three till now i have developed for students one is sanglish ayur krida and ayur career guide uh, i will close my ppt and i will take you to this let's start exploring this is sanglish and whenever i launch my apps it will come with this uh, logo on haridra uh, amruta leaf there will be kalva yantra with stethoscope and ecg and swasthasthya swastha rashtra because i belongs to swastha rutta so that is that is typical my logo and in kannada there is a uh, thing called ankita nama whenever a poet write a poem at the end he will be using his name like the same i will be using my names for whatever the ai i craft by prakul prasanna kulkarni selfishness right yeah yeah so this is sanglish as the name itself indicates sanskrit and english blended how it is going to help you to understand different sanskrit terminologies do you find hard to understand a sanskrit term any such term if you want let's try to explore it randomly take a word any any term any term sanskrit term pardon me vishtamba okay vishtamba let me type over here v i s t a m b h a that's it v apart stamba obstruction okay that is how it gives in aspect of vishtamba refers to obstruction or blockage it generally denotes an obstruction in the body often related to digestive issues or maybe stiffness are you happy madam with this meaning out of 1 to 10 how do you grade this outcome one is worst 10 is best nine okay fine as a teacher you are going to grade it nine i am happy for your grading okay this is how you will get the output of course all these things i will share the qr code you will get on that platform don't worry okay or else i will share all those things with the organizer they will be sharing with you in different whatsapp group you can explore it this is very silly right sir we can get that by exploring any sanskrit dictionary yeah for that i have given this sanskrit lexicon where more than 33 sanskrit dictionaries have been compiled click on that for more exposure on that so this is not the objective behind this the main purpose is to understand the shloka in a better way to make this journey very easy i already compiled certain things what i will do is yeah this is a shloka yeah again typical example of mahaprana highlighted shloka where you can see mahaprana highlighted with uh, red font in charaka samhita that uh, red font this thing na you will get the same kind of thing what i will do to keep this uh, simple and speedy i'm copying it straight away i go there and i will paste it understand because the objective of this ai tool is to give the meaning so it will rewrite the shloka over there and give the translation of the same word by word translation okay each word sneha saya stavara jangama matsya mruga okay word by word translation and in total what it means everything you will get in this sanglish contextual meaning this is very important sneha can be your simple ghee a person consuming food he might have written sneha no in are the context only the outcome is generated right yeah so you can understand all those things over here now the another dangerous thing of this sanglish dangerous thing what is that you can write shlokas yeah you can write shlokas who want to write shloka please raise your hand and please volunteer over here who want to write shloka be quick we have many more to see who who one volunteer please come over here and tell what you want to write shloka any rubbish thing is okay none of you madam please 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 any 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 anything is okay anything anything is okay ha ah. ha ah. what do you want to create in shloka 
make sure that that should not be present in any of the samhitas ha huh? ha huh? that's the purpose i am asking not to gather shloka i am asking you to create shloka no yep don't want to try ram sir yeah Doshas are the summary of the gunas. Okay, fine. Ah, okay, one line, very simple one. Okay, so write, craft, ignore the spelling, a shloka that tells doshas are the summary of what, gunas. can be present right there are chances what if as said by acharya ram prasad right let's see dosha gunanam saram hi राम प्रसाद आचार्येण निर्दष्ट शरीर धर्मेशु गुणनाम रूपमायंती ही दोषा राइट एंड हियर कम्स द मीनिंग ट्रांसलेशन नव व्हाट इफ व्हाट इफ लेट्स थिंक अबाउट द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ दिस ओके बाय द वे Organizers, please caution me if I am going out of time. Huh? Of course, I have started a bit late. Now it is 10:35. How many more minutes I have? Accordingly, I will adjust my presentation.